So I want to make a few videos on uh, the broken neck handyman or the handicap handyman. I was thinking maybe I should start a new channel. Um, so I'm getting into the power washer project. But, uh, and I'm just going to kind of tell you my experience up to this point, uh, getting everything ready um, to, to go out and do what I got to do. I'm learning as I go. Um, there's a lot of great videos on YouTube. In fact, let's cut one on right now uh, because this was the most important one to me. Um, let's just, I uh, want you to just listen for a second. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the top, my favorite top five inexpensive things that you can do, uh, upgrades you can buy for your pressure washer to make your pressure washing experience, whether it be working around the house, pressure washing your driveway, cleaning your car, it will make it 1000% better, easier, and more enjoyable. So with that said, guys, we're gonna jump right into it. All right, that was I am Josh V. I am J-O-S-H-V, and he's got a series of videos on power washing. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not gonna teach you anything that he can't teach you, but I can talk about it from a, a novice idiot perspective, and uh, maybe you'll get something out of the video, because I'm gonna just kinda tell you what I'm running into as I move along here. Um, first thing was I went to, uh, I'll tell you, man, going to Home Depot or Lowe's these days, you know, I won't say it was bad advice, but they just don't know anything. These people, I, I, I think they hire like, you know, an education major to work in the uh, paint department, you know, or, or wherever. I mean, it, nobody there knows anything. Um, so anyway, I, I believed the guy because I thought he knew something. And so he, he advised me to buy, it was about six bucks, and I bought this, uh, this is um, outdoor bleach. Never heard of it before. 45, makes up to 45 gallons of uh, cleaning. And so I was going to use this, or I am going to use it to actually clean the driveway. And what I wanted to do is spray it up onto the roof to get the dirt off. Um, but when you look at it, <laughs> I mean, this, let's just read this. I mean, my God, I'm like, holy, I didn't know I have to wear a hazmat suit to use this stuff. Uh, I love these directions. Do not taste or swallow. Hey, by the way, you know, be sure and drink your bleach. Drink your bleach, especially if you got COVID. Drink your bleach because, uh, uh, you know, I remember, remember when somebody made a joke about that and everybody said, oh, everybody's going to drink their bleach. Well, you know, if you're that stupid. But, um, all right, so, but I just wanted to look at this. I mean, it says, uh, let's see, always dilute, uh, avoid eye and skin contact and in inhaling vapors or mist. Always wear eye protection <laughs> and, and skin protection. Wear goggles, long pants, and long sleeve shirt to help protect your skin. If clothing becomes wet from this, pro properly remove clothing and wash skin with soap and water. Uh, oh, and, and keep it away from your kids. So, I, <laughs> I mean, I actually have a mask on order uh, for because I'm going to be working with some mere acid at some point. But I, you know, unfortunately with the supply chain, it's on back order. So, and I threw away my other mask, which probably would have worked with this. But anyway, I, I think if I'm outdoors working on the driveway and uh, just put on just a an N95 mask, probably be adequate for for using this. Uh, and then of course I am going to have to you know, protect my skin and everything because I'm going to be sloshing it around in a bucket. But So that's good for the driveway. And But the and the thing I don't like about these these products is they don't say, like, I've got a garden right next to my uh, bird cage. And so I'm, I want to clean the bird cage. And I thought this would be good for cleaning the surface. But if it washes off into the soil and kills all my uh, vegetables, uh, that wouldn't be good. And it doesn't say on here anything about you know, avoid plant life or any of that sort of thing. I imagine it would just kill it all. The next thing that I bought at the direction of I am Josh V uh, was Super Cleaner. Uh, tough task cleaning degreaser, dissolves grease. Um, so, you know, this will come in handy. I just wanted to kind of, and so what I'm, what I'm going to do, all right, so you see the, the pressure washer comes with the soap container right here. Okay, I am not putting, I'm certainly not putting that down in there. It might eat the pressure washer apart. And I don't want to put this down in the pressure washer. So what I bought, 
uh, and it's it's not here yet. I, I'd be showing it to you because and Josh V recommended it, but I didn't think I needed it. It's the the foam cannon, and uh, he he uses it because you know he details cars, and if you want a quick way to wash a car, I mean that that thing's awesome. And you just spray the foam on there, and I imagine it gets most of the dirt and grime off, and then uh, and then he's done. I mean, wash a car, lickety split. Well, I I don't need to do that. I I buy the the cheap stuff, or even use dishwashing liquid, and get out there with a bucket and a sponge, and you know I make a day out of it, enjoy the sunlight, and and wash. A lot of people don't want to do that, but you know, so I didn't feel the need for the foam cannon until I thought about how am I going to get the dirt on the roof? I can't. Go up on the roof um, with a broken neck so uh, I, I got a ladder and I can climb up the ladder on the side of the house luckily you're here in Florida we just got the one level house so it's not like I you know up and up north where you got three-story houses you know <laughs> you need a you need a fire truck to get up on the roof you know but uh, but no so here you know I can I can get up to where I you know I got my my chest above and use that foam cannon and I'm thinking I'll just put this and see that's coming out the nozzle because and we'll, we'll get into that in a minute and put this down in the foam cannon and spray it up on the roof and I'm hoping it'll take that black muck off now the question was what's that going to do to the shingles on the house now I don't think this would be good for the shingles on the house it sounds to me like, <laughs> like it's going to eat the concrete off my driveway I don't know but uh, this here it does say you can use it on asphalt so if you can use this on asphalt and well it says driveways but that's the only thing I see that's one of the outdoor things um, you know and then, then of course they say farm equipment and so I'm thinking this probably is not going to hurt the roof and maybe it'll get that black sludge off so that's what this is for all right so let's get into the power washer itself and talk about what he talked about and you know he does a much better job than I do but this this was the hose that came with the power washer and uh, I never you can see I've never used it and I probably never will and 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 really I should just give it to charity or do something with it sorry my nose is itching um, and I uh, you know this but I've had these hoses in the past and and I've talked about my my previous experience with my power washers up in Michigan and I uh, and man I'll tell you these hoses are a pain they they, they're hard to, to expand out. They want to roll up on you. Um, if you kink them, it, uh, it, it, it shuts the water off. Uh, and, you know, and I, I never really thought that there was a better option because I didn't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's like I always tell people, if you don't know the question to ask, you'll never get the answer that you need, right? So I had never asked the question, was there a, another hose that would be better until I watched... Um, I am Josh V and so you know so he went into all the um, the things that you might want for the power washer and uh, I thought this was pretty cool uh, first thing was and then I bought it and you can see I haven't used it yet but this is called uh, a flex hose and I can't remember the name brand on it I thought it'd be written on the hose here it is uh, Uberflex yeah you can get this at Amazon. Uh, I don't remember what I spent for it, 50 or 60 bucks. But, man, I'm going to be, uh, you know, here in Florida, hopefully I'm going to be in this house for many years. Um, so, you know, this is a 50-foot hose. That's a 25-foot hose. And uh, this is not going to kink up. You know, you can see it's, it doesn't, uh, you know, even when it bends, it doesn't just, you know, crack to the side. So this is going to be wonderful, you know, you put that power washer in one spot, because that is a pain in the butt when you're dragging that power washer around everywhere. And so this will make uh, my life a hell of a lot easier, uh, not having to deal with the hose uh, all the time. Because if you ever had one of these, these non-flex hoses, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. So that was the first big thing that uh, I thought, man, that is one great piece of advice that he gave there. Um, you know, the next thing that I bought was uh well the other thing that he recommended and i forgot about this one um this is the uh the handle okay and so right onto here this is a quick connect the uh that foam cannon is going to connect right onto here and uh, you can see how easy this is going to be to use so imagine me hanging up over the gutter uh, i got the foam cannon hanging down right here and you know i got the power washer going and then i can just take this 
with the uh, super clean and just spray it up onto the roof. Now, ideally, I'd be up on the roof spraying down. <laughs> but it, and someday I will be, a, well, fingers crossed if I get better. I am getting better a little bit now at a time. I had physical therapy yesterday. So this would be pretty cool, and I, I'm hoping this is going to work really well. And if it doesn't, I can still use that foam cannon for washing the car. It'd just be a little bit different. I'd be just putting, like, regular soap, uh, you know, like the uh, car cleaning soap that you buy at Walmart um, instead of the, because he, he recommends, uh, gosh, I can't remember. There's a special soap that you can buy for the foam cannon. And who knows, maybe I'll get that someday and want to clean the car faster. But this is going to be, this was a welcome addition. And you see it's got the quick connect at the bottom. All right. So then the next thing that I bought and uh, was the Roby uh, 12 inch. Uh, this, is, this is so that you can just hang around on the driveway. And if you look... At the one, you know, I was trying to figure out how all this was going to fit together and work. You know, this this just pops right off. So here, let's just do it. So this just pops right off, and then you pop this right onto here. Okay, I'm not going to do it. And then, uh, and so then, you know, you can just quickly move between this and your spray nozzle if you're using this handle. So that's uh, that's the next thing, and and this will be good. You know, I'll put this concrete stuff down. Hopefully it won't eat this thing apart. <laughs> you know? And what I'm going to use is just a long scrub brush and, and a bucket of, uh, you know, that very much diluted and, and just get it on the driveway, get the driveway, well, probably power wash it first, you know, just getting it wet. Put this on there with a scrub brush, let it sit for a while, and then take this and scrub it. And I bet that's going to really clean the hell out of that driveway. And we're going to get a video about that and see what it looks like uh, with my plan. That's the plan anyway. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm learning as I go. So, oh, I wanted to show you on the one. So one of the, the, one of the things that he recommends that you buy is called a Quick Connect kit. And uh, buy the kit. Um, like, like people have pointed out, or maybe he did in his videos, is these little doodads, you can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's, I think, individually but man they're expensive as hell individually i mean you pay upwards 150 200 you buy the quick connect kit which has everything that you need just about everything anyway uh well everything you need but i'll i'll explain why i'm going to need more in in just a bit um and and you know it's got it this is one this was one of the pieces that was in there and it goes on the handle and uh one of the things that he pointed out was um you know, if you use the power washer just as is without the quick connects, you're constantly taking this stuff on and off. And uh, that's going to, all your seals and everything, when you keep breaking seals and opening seals and breaking seals and opening seals, all these washers and everything are going to deteriorate. So uh, by doing this, you know, you get it on there, one shot deal, and you just leave it on. And and, and here's another thing I wanted to, to talk about. Um you know, I always had problems, especially with my power washer up in Michigan, was the water, of course, I'd be connecting right up to this uh, with, with, the, um, with that hose rather than using the quick connect. Um, but uh, the water would always leak out around here. So uh, one of the things that I did for the power washer uh, was use the um, uh, PFTE thread uh, seal tape, if you want to call that. I always called this... Um, Teflon tape or whatever, uh, or um, uh, anyway, pipe tape, some all kinds of different names for it, and uh, and I wrapped every single connection that I put these quick connects on with the uh, Teflon tape. Now was that overkill? Probably. The other thing that I I do and I don't have it right here is I take a little Vaseline and I put it in here and I always lubricate the uh, washers and everything. I think it gives them a little more life. And, uh, and also, you know, when over time, you know, these things become, uh, they really get locked in uh, any sort of connection to, to get them off. And so having that Vaseline on there, I think it gives you a lot longer where you can just, you know, maybe not use your hands to get it off, but it makes it so that these just don't get locked into place. Um, so that was, uh, that's, that's another thing. You know, I did want to show you, uh, I forgot on this. So this is... This is one of the quick, these, these are two of the quick connects. Okay, now you see what I'm talking about. So you'd have to be screwing this on 
right here. Whereas with this quick connect, check this out. Uh, come on. Well, with the quick connect, you just pop it right in. So let's just do that real quick. So here you go. Oh, damn it. Man, my hands don't work real well because of my handicap. But there you go. See how easy that was? So otherwise, I would have been screwing this onto here. It would have been a pain in the ass. So now I can pop this off. Boom. And, you know, pop this handle on. I, oh, yeah. You know what? I'm getting to the roof now. Let's pop this handle on. There you go. Let's get my hand working. Ah, there we go. So now we got this handle on there, you know. So that that's that's pretty cool. And of course, this connection right here is going to connect up to the power washer. And we're going to get into the power washer here in, in just a second. All right. So that's that's that. Um, the next thing is, uh, you know, when you're working with um, bolts and stuff, you know, always try to use uh, one of these or, or even a well, it's hard. you can't use a socket because you're coming in from the side. Um, because if you use something like this, you know, like a, a pair of pliers or a ratchet like this, you're going to scratch the metal. And, uh, you know, you could always put some electrical tape around this and then use that if you want to do it that way. Uh, I, I admit I was guilty of using this. See, the thing about that's nice about the grip handle here is this is nice and thin. And you see how thick this is? And so when I was putting the quick connects on, I couldn't get on everything. Now I have smaller, thinner uh, ratchets like this, but even those wouldn't work too well. So that's why uh, um, I just wanted to, to talk about, you know, so when you're working with metal on metal, you know, make sure that you put some electrical tape in here and then, uh, and then that way you don't uh, scratch the metal when you're, when you're tightening up all the connections. Uh, or just be really, really careful, you know, tighten down, get a good grip. And then if this thing starts slipping at all, you're done, man. Make sure that you put some uh, electrical tape because when you're slipping, that means you're scratching the metal and you don't want to be doing that, especially on something brand new like this. So here's, here's the other quick connect. And I was going to show you, see, that's what it does right there. So you can picture this, um, uh, well, this, let's see, I'm trying to figure out. Well, this is going to screw on to the, the spigot, this end right here. All right. So then you put this on there. All right. And so this, this would work. Let's say that you really worked a job and you're going to be, you're traveling with, you know, this is more for a professional, um, the quick connect kit. They're, they're, they're looking out for like the professional. God, let me get these glasses off. What am I? Why am I? Saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm blind enough as it is, but those are reading glasses. Um, this is great because if you're if you're having to take the hose on and off and all the time. So the cool thing is, is once this is attached to the hose, boom, that's all you got to do. And now this is just going to be sitting on the spigot forever. And then you quick connect up. And that's why I said I'm probably going to have to buy some other parts. Um, but anyway, I, I'll, I'll get into that when we get into uh, being outside, working with all the equipment and everything. So we're kind of winding down on this video. Um, I did want to show you uh, just a couple of things. All right, so here is, uh, man, I, you're probably not going to be able to see it. And I don't think I can lift this. I tell you what, I can lift it up. Oh, there we go. Ah, hopefully you can see this. This is the quick connect to the... Um, to the power washer. And so the hose is going to screw right into here. And so that way you can just pop the hose right off of the power washer and you'll have the quick connect on it. Well, let's say I want to use the hose then with the spray handle. <laughs> I'm going to need a quick connect for the spray handle. And I probably might buy one, uh, you know, for a garden handle outside. Or, you know, I, I don't know. I, maybe I can use that, that handle right there rather than use the, uh, you know, one of those garden hose spray handles that, you know, I use outside for everything. Um, I might get into that. Um, so we talked about the tape. Uh, here's another quick connect. Uh, this is the, um, the output. Okay. So you got your hose coming in there. And then this would be the output coming out here. And see, that's another quick connect that I was showing you. So you can just pop right into that and pop off. So all this stuff makes life a hell of a lot easier. Now I wanted to get into the power washer for just a second. 
the first thing that I ran into was check this out. All right, dang on it, man. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm hurting myself. All right, let's get it up. Now look at the feet on this thing. All right, you see how I got this? Well, there's just two little rubber uh, things. This is a flaw in construction, and you know a lot of equipment comes like this. It, it's amazing, like you know the, the engine and everything else is a, a marvel of technology, and then they put a cheap little rubber thing here well one of the rubber things was half torn off now am i going to take it all the way back to home depot because one of the rubber things was half torn off no i took some uh, boot glue you can buy that uh, i highly recommend shoe glue or boot glue um, or there's uh, there's actually you can buy like four or six I don't, i'm not sure i think it was four you can buy uh which is crazy glue but it's a it's a lot better and i should maybe someday i'll show you the glue that i bought and then you just put that on here and then I glued it back and then I took some and you probably just want to do this anyway I took some electrical tape and just wrapped it around these boots and you know I, this tape's going to scrape up from time to time and then I would just rewrap it and that way you're never going to lose these rubber pieces on the bottom because they do they just pop right off or they just tear off because uh, you you know you're going to be moving this thing around uh, as you use it and that way you'll always have this rather than the metal scraping on the concrete and I thought this was a cheap wheel design and one of the things I was real disappointed with was there were some good reviews on this this is the um, 2000 PSI uh, pressure washer and uh, so when I got it home it's actually was probably made in 2020 uh, and then of course the date on it's 2021 and this was right off the shelf at Home Depot what are we in uh, um, Good Lord, I'm trying to figure out August of uh, 2022 here, or whatever. And, and so, you know, I, here I am buying an outdoor dated piece of, of equipment, but I mean, of course, that's why you get such a good price. I only paid $199 for the power washer, but by the time you buy the hose, the cleaning stuff, the quick connect kit, you know, the, the, the this, this uh, thing for the concrete, I mean, you, you're looking at three or $400. Now you might say, well, you know, if you're a happy homeowner, why not just pay somebody to come in, do the work? I mean, if you got the money, sure. I mean, you know, they'll come in and most of them will have most of this equipment. Um, I, I dare say, you know, I might even have uh, more equipment than some of them, uh, depending on, you know, how, how reputable they are. And uh, but, you know, every single time that you want to power wash your uh, house, because uh, I got to do the whole house, I got to do the bird cage, I got to do the driveway. Uh, and of course now I got to hit the roof. Well, by the time I do all that, I mean I'd be out two or three hundred dollars to pay somebody to do it, and that's a one-shot deal. Well, this house because I've got trees all around it and everything, which is wonderful, but it's a pain in the butt um, because I didn't know here in Florida these oak trees they're they're a mess, man. And uh, so this house constantly needs cleaning. So what am I going to do? Pay two or three hundred dollars three times a year for somebody to come in? No, I'm one time expense. Uh, as long as I take care of this equipment, um, you know, then then I'll be able to use this. Uh, uh, and especially now that I got everything set up so that it's so easy, it's going to be pretty easy to do. I guarantee you, I, I even being handicapped and, and, you know, I can only work for a certain period of time. Uh, I, I, I bet I could at least get the driveway and the birdcage done in uh in just a couple three three four hours you know now would i be able to get the gutters and the house and the roof no no that's going to be another day i mean but um, as i get better i bet i could get the roof and the bird cage and the driveway and just have it all done in one day and then put this thing away um so boy i is there anything else i wanted to talk about well i guess storage uh you know, once you're done, like I said, I'm not going to use a soap container for anything. Oh, I was going to get into the, the, the date on the power washer. So you can get the, um, the uh, 3000 PSI, uh, but you can see this, uh, this 4X cleaner is only rated for 2300 PSI. So that's why I went with the 2000. Plus, I, this had pretty good ratings. But the 3000 has the much bigger wheels. It's a better piece of equipment. 
Uh, but it's a hell of a lot more expensive. I think I was seeing the price on that at like $349. And with inflation, that's just going to go up. Plus, nobody had it. You're looking at supply chain issues. It might be. But you can always back order things. I mean, unless you need it tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. I mean, but you can go ahead and get the Cat Daddy. I just don't see where I need the Cat Daddy. And uh, old doesn't mean bad. The uh, one, one bad thing that I see about this is this, this power cord. You know, I, I, I wish that, you know, they they done like a vacuum cleaner or uh, or even my um, my shop vac and gave you something to wrap the cord around so that, you know, you're not doing something like this with the cord just hanging out. Now, you could wrap it around the handle, which I probably will do once once I use it the first time. And and that'd be fine for storage. So just wrap it around the handle and that'll work. Um the uh, oh and i was going to tell you when you go to store this you know be sure and buy the uh the lubricant so that you're going to attach it up down below and then inject it up into the uh, the power washer so that it's all lubricated of course let everything dry extremely well and then put it in storage but in my case it's not that important i'll probably be using this about four times a year uh and even in michigan well back then i was working a hell of a lot of hours so i i would power wash twice a year up there um, so anyway, all right, so that's it for the first part of this video. I guess the next, uh, is going to be, um, I'm, I'm going to actually go out and film me, uh, uh, you know, laying down this stuff with my hazmat suit on <laughs> and show you the before and after on the driveway, maybe get some shots of me actually working with the power washer. And so you can kind of see as I move along how it's going to work, show you the bird cage. Uh, we'll see how the um, the uh, cannon, the um, the foam cannon is going to work with me trying to spray up onto the black area of the roof. And we'll see what the results are, whether this will get that black stuff off of the roof. Uh, you know, and, and uh, another reason that I'm doing all this that you got to understand is the HOA came down on me. They said that that driveway had to be uh, cleaned. And, of course, the roof up here had to be cleaned. And of course, the bird cage is for me because that's in the back of the house, and they didn't—they didn't ding me on that. I guarantee, if they walked around to the back of the house, they'd say, "You got to do something about the bird cage." Yeah, you know, sacrifice you make. All right, peace out. Stay free. Good to live in the free state of Florida, where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, none of that bull crap that most of the rest of the country had to live with, especially during the COVID nightmare. By the way, is it just me, or when you call up and they go? If you're having a COVID emergency <laughs> or something on the line, I can't believe people are still living that stupid crap. All right, man. Have a good one.